let's start our understanding on time value of money what is time value of money whether money has got any time value and the answer is yes money has got a time value and just to understand take this example let's say i would i'm going to give you 1000 rupees today and i'm also offering you that i will give you 1000 rupees after one year this 1000 rupees you will get today and another rupees 1000 you are going to get after one year so which money you would prefer for is it 1000 which you can receive today or is it 1000 which you are going to receive after one year obviously your mind will go for the 1000 which you can receive today why your mind will go for 1000 which you can receive today there can be various reasons let me put those reasons one by one reason number one can be you can consume that money immediately when you receive 1000 now you can consume it immediately so i'll call it as preference for present consumption you can consume it immediately so that can be one reason why you prefer money now there can be another reason why you prefer money now is that the money what you receive now is going to have more value than the money what you will receive after one year just to give an example if you can buy a product for 1000 rupees today the same product will not be available for 1000 rupees after one year after one year that product will, would cost 1050 or 1100 i mean the cost of the product is going to go up to put it otherwise the cost of the product is same but the value of the money has come down i mean you cannot purchase the same product with 1000 rupees but you have to pay more and why you have to pay more maybe because of operation of what is known as inflation so when inflation steps in then the value of money will come down so what you can purchase for 1000 rupees now you cannot purchase the same product for same 1000 rupees after one year so the second reason why you would prefer money now is the money what you have has more purchasing power it has got more purchasing power then there is a third reason why you want a money now probably you don't believe me that i will give you money after one year you wanted money now and i'm saying instead of giving you the money now i'll give you after one year and what is the guarantee that i will pay you after one year so there is an element called risk so you are worried about my credibility so you would like to get the money now itself instead of waiting for one year there is a fourth reason which makes more sense and that is the reason which actually brings time value of money what is that reason the fourth reason is if you get the money now you can invest the money and you can make it a bigger money after one year say you get this thousand rupees now and you are going to invest this thousand at 10 percent so if you invest this thousand at 10 percent after one year this thousand is going to become thousand one hundred that is after one year you will have thousand one hundred on hand but if I am promising you that I will give you 1000 after one year, that is this promise, you would simply say no, because after one year, if you are giving me money, you should give me 1100. Only then you have a comparable base. Because after one year, if you are going to receive again the same 1000 rupees, then it is losing its value because in that place, you will be having this 1100. So, the fourth main reason why you would prefer money now is this money can be invested you can invest this money and this money which is invested will give you more money in future it means you will have a future value for the money so understand the money what you have today and money what you are going to receive in future are different future money will have less value because of these broad four reasons and if you receive money today you can invest and if you invest you will get more money in the future but 
that more money have to be seen from today's angle that is from now angle and that's where we understand the concept of time value of money so if you want to understand time value of money you have to understand four concepts i'll put them here the time value of money revolves around four concepts the four concepts let me just draw the four concepts are number one present value concept which of course i'll be explaining you as the third element then present value annuity then future value and future value annuity if you want to understand time value you should understand all the four concepts so the order in which i'll be explaining you the time value would be like this first i'll explain what is future value then i would like to explain what is future value of annuity then i'll take you through the present value and the present value of annuity so if you understand all the four concepts then you are thorough with time value of money so in the next session i'll introduce you what is future value and how we should proceed further